and the dope production. After a rare combination, you, you find these days. So give them another round of applause. So keep flying. When did it all start for you? As far as like uh, getting getting the motivation to you know follow your dreams and music. Well, it all started like. I was always inspired by Bone Thugs and Harmony from the age of 12, because my mom introduced me to them. You know what I mean? She was like, just listen to these guys and you'll be all right. So like, I started with them, and then I developed my own flow. I listened to a lot of Snoop, Bone Thugs, um, Big Daddy Kane, Gonks, like, all of the just hip hop period. You know, I all the smooth guys. Yeah, all the smooth guys, you know? <laughs> I like them because they were smooth, you know? But they had fun, you yeah. know? Like, I never wanted any other gift for Christmas. All I wanted was like musical stuff, clothes, and the pins and pads, the basics that make you look like a musician, you know? The other kids would ask for toys and stuff. I'm asking for keyboards and pins and pads. <laughs> Simple stuff. They like, well, you can get the most presents, you know what I mean? So, so yeah, it just started there, you know, and then I kept going. I moved from Alabama when I was 23 and moved to Lodi, California, and I've been there ever since, and I just, my group, no music click, we reigned for seven years in the 209, on the 209 Music Awards for Best Group, then we split up, everybody's doing their own thing now, R.I.P. to my boy Kobe, he died from alcohol poison, you know, so, it's like, just, I don't know, just music, that's what keep me alive. Well, that's great, man, I'm actually really interesting question. You said you came from Alabama originally, what, what led you to Lola? Lola, I, I was living in California for about Hopefully, 